hate squash! What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of the Cinema Scumbags Movie Podcast number 27. I'm Seth. I'm Nick V. I'm Matt. Well, I'm Filmy's Nick. Fellas, how you doing? Uh, a week after being here. Has it been a week? Over a week? Uh, about a week, yeah. Been a, yeah, about a week and a few days. It's been a week since you were in my apartment here in Davenport. How's it Stealing feeling? all your movies. Yeah, you know, I, I got to admit. And your money. I got to admit, I told Nick D this, I, I came home and I checked my shelf and the uh, the digibook section seems like there's a little slack in between the titles, like something might have been... <laughs> that maybe, was, that uh, have, maybe that Battle Royale is uh, not there anymore. Oh, fuck, I didn't look for that. Oh, <laughs> shit, it's, I, oh, it's still there. I was eyeing a couple of them. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I'd be lying to you if I said I didn't walk in and drop my drop my shit down and walk over to my shelf and start inspecting it. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I was going to steal all your hotel soap, but uh, I decided. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I bet you fucking walked right in and picked up Stand By Me first, didn't you? you no, I, 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 I glanced at it. I looked for Poltergeist. Um, <laughs> Why me first? Uh, Each one we picked up was like, oh, this is really nice. Yeah, exactly. and I, I went through like all the shelves, and I was just you know putting my hand in there to feel the slack in between the movies. And, uh, <laughs> With those sausage fingers? I don't think so. <laughs> they all checked out except for the Digibook section, so uh, I don't know. I mean, I would hope if one of you guys grabbed anything you Probably send it like back a checklist like, yeah, just <laughs> slap just, between digis oh it's a little off just send it Someone back stole you know, my pillows just send it back to me. you don't have to self-address the envelope i don't need to know who took it but just just get it back to me i'd appreciate it <laughs> never buddy well, to get it back it'd probably be about 35.99 shit <laughs> Yeah, you go. Yeah, taste my own medicine. Agree, agree with that. <laughs> I won't lie though, as I was driving away and I left you guys sitting there for fucking three hours, I'm thinking, God, that might have been a mistake. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> yeah, these guys are I just met, like they I have met access, these guys off the internet and they're in they my house. Access, Making Nick drive to- thirty minutes to the airport, drop them off, come back, bring your key. I'm yeah. Sorry for um, <laughs> you know being at a funeral for a loved one. What a, <laughs> I said what a, I would have put it behind the dumpster. Fuck. What a crime on my part. I know you said, God, <laughs> fucking come home so I can go back to St. Louis already. Yeah. I was I'm ready. I got back as quick as I can. I only threw you an hour off schedule. I don't think that's too bad. Uh, What was it, Filmies? I'll be right, I'll be right back. Uh, Probably about an uh, hour. Yeah, I'll be there at 11. It's like 2.30. Ah, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to yeah. make you guys Oh. It's all right though, buddy. I mean, you know, life well, happens. And then, and then he's like, he says he's not going to make it. And then ten minutes later, all right, I'm coming. Yeah, Shut what? The fuck we up. just left. What do you mean you're coming? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. And for... then I texted him when I leave in the airport, and he's like, "Okay, Nick D, I'm really coming this time." I, that was... <laughs> oh, you really hadn't even left? <laughs> yeah. No, no oh that's I. I did. I, I sent a premature text. I was like, "Yeah, I'm leaving right now." And then I was there for another 45 minutes. But you know. Things happen in life, and there's things you have to take care of. I made it back; it all worked out well. So fuck off. Sorry Still for your loss. Trip. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. And I hope you guys had a, a good time here in in Davenport. Um, You're very something. hospitable. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. It's pretty, I, I hope, pretty fun, bro. Hope none of you stepped in the crack in my shower. By the way, I noticed it looks a little. Uh, <laughs> I felt like I did, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> it looks a little more um, like I'm washing my hair with my eyes closed, and then I'm just like, I think I'm stepping on the crack. Yeah, <laughs> it looks a little more exposed, but <sighs> whatever. You get someone up here to take care of that. Should have oh. done it months ago, but <laughs> instead he just puts a warning label oh like, "Don't gosh. step on the crack." Purple, <laughs> be careful. Yeah, purple super glue. Just you know, watch your feet. <laughs> oh, man. So yeah, it was it was a good time. I. I'm glad you guys enjoyed yourselves here. I think it went pretty smooth. I uh, can't believe it's been a fucking week already. Insane, man. Like, even I told Filmies when we were on the trip, like, even the Breakfast Club shit, it, like, felt like yeah, months ago. Like, and now yeah, it really yeah. feels like so fucking long ago. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty strange. Pretty strange. Um, yeah, it was fun, though. Did you guys have a good uh, good Halloween? Halloween weekend? I was working, so nope. Oh, <laughs> you, dress, you dress up at H&M? Uh, I was a lumberjack, what yeah. I always wear. <laughs> Plaid on fucking costume. denim. <laughs> it's 
an everyday oh. costume. Yeah. Exactly. I didn't do shit, bro. Drink some beers, talk to some YouTube buddies. Not much. I'm, I guess, some I'm, just a little, I'm a little bit too old to go out bag snatching, you know. So. Uh, yeah, me too. I don't know. I I, I... I didn't go bag snatching. I don't know anybody who does, but no, you, you ended up cocking you, an attitude on that Instagram post. No, no, you always try and you know heat on Instagram, but <laughs> guess bag know, snatching I'll, ended early for this yeah, kid, twenty five years old. More like was, kid scaring, kid scaring, That's kid it. snatching, <laughs> <laughs> kidnapping kids, uh, <laughs> snatch grabbing. Yeah, <laughs> wasn't stealing any, wasn't stealing anyone's candy. I just you know I was on Instagram and, and I noticed that you um misspelled john carpenter's name and i just wanted to point that out for you that's all i was trying to do get his name right I told you he's a sig smoker that's why it's well, you know, tar no. for a, a self-proclaimed um film aficionado you think you would... i don't fucking know i've never once said this <laughs> i would never say i'm a film aficionado it's too big a word yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. there you go there you go again films i, I just, just like I, to watch movies just exactly. kind of Kind of surprised me that you couldn't spell John Carpenter's name right, but we took care of it. It's all good. Huh? Film, film gets me hard. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I got mean. I got wet like three times in this trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Say, I said, well, no, it was when I was watching Rudy. I was like, man, I, I got wet three times watching. Yeah, this. that's that's what <laughs> I decided. That's, to that's jump. I met tears. You know. Yeah, I decided to jump out of the discussion at that point. Uh, not <laughs> not taking any further. Cock. <laughs> I had a good, uh, I had a good Halloween though. Good, it was a little more chill than last year, man. Um, this was a lot better, a lot, um, a lot more respectable evening for myself. Yeah, why's that? <laughs> uh, well, last year was just a mess, man. You know, I, I've been going out as uh, in my Michael Myers getup for fucking fifteen years now. Um, wow. No, not, not quite let me that guess long. what you were before then. Okay, uh, Yankees baseball player. Uh, I might have been at some point. I was gonna say wrestler. Uh, I was gonna say, I was gonna say a Backstreet Boy. <laughs> <laughs> that could oh, have I, been the closest one, probably. I did go as a uh, Jason the Red Ranger for several years, but <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, that gets old when you get to ten. <laughs> there's a great uh, family photo somewhere. As uh, <laughs> like we had stopped over to my grandma's house on Halloween, and you know, my mom wanted to take a picture of me and my grandma, and I was, you know, in my. In my Power Ranger shit, but it was just supposed to be a nice, nice, you know, family friendly picture. And, you know, I was doing like a Power Rangers motion, and <laughs> my mom was like, don't fucking do that. <laughs> I, was, I was like being a little prick. I was really like, it had to be in this picture. So then I started crying, and I'm like, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> seems, like you, seems like you anger your parents a lot as a child. <laughs> and then right when, right when she was going to snap the picture, I put my hands up in the, you know, karate motion. So there's a. <laughs> Y'all, it's orphan time. <laughs> <laughs> there's a this is a real picture somewhere of me and my grandma me with tears coming down my face doing the power rangers motion last minute yeah. <laughs> so yeah that uh God. perfect time yeah that uh um, that costume got a little old and i i went to the michael myers thing but uh last year was rough man I like to um go out to the bars you know mingle with uh fellow halloween fans people in costume just had a little, a little too much. So like a, uh, a bar full of just Halloween fans. Well, yeah, you know, no, I mean Halloween in general, not the, oh, okay. No okay. franchise. Is, is know, this the notorious like the... the night he threw up story? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, that's that's about right. Just the uh, night he threw up. You know, I, and I, I try and have an accurate Michael Myers costume. You know, nothing's fucking not one with puke here. on it. Well, <laughs> nothing's cheesier than someone's that's got like the cheap mask and they're wearing like a black sweatshirt and fucking jeans. <laughs> like he doesn't wear that in a movie. That's not <laughs> scary. That looks fucking retarded. So I like to, you know, I go to a local farmer store, get some coveralls. You know, so I really look like you know I could have jumped out of the set in 1978. But uh, well, I mean, I think it was a mechanic suit. But yeah, 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 oh, yeah coveralls. Yeah, okay, got it. Yeah, farmer that's store. Called. That's what they're called, buddy. <laughs> the local Davenport farmer store. <laughs> we really got, we got called, one on every corner. It's called I Farm Fleek. <laughs> what is it? Farm, farm on fleek. fleek? No. Farm on Fleek. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Farm on Fleek. <laughs> <laughs> farm and Fleet. And oh, okay. okay. And it goes, uh, fine value. <laughs> commercial for yeah, it? Can, you, can you insert the fucking audio? Fine value. Farm and <laughs> 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 
But yeah, anyways, I was in the whole getup, you know, the boots on, then brand new coveralls last year, and I was just sitting at the bar and drinking, 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 drinking. Oh, here's some shots. Oh, here's some more PBRs. <laughs> drinking, drinking, drinking. Then we get up to to leave. I, I looked at my buddy and said, Oh man, oh, I don't feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just <laughs> roughed everywhere, right in the middle of the fucking bar, right over my fucking Myers coveralls. So, you know, oh. I, I, I'm i stumbling out of there wearing a mask that smells Did like you cute. puke in the mask? Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> no, luckily at that point I had it on top of my head, but, I mean, it, it looked like a fucking disaster. You know, it's all over my coveralls, and I'm stumbling out of the bar looking just – So oh, a, six, seven, a man 6'7 with a Michael yeah. Myers mask on oh the God. top of his head. Yeah, <laughs> walking out of a bar, throwing up. It was it was really you know I don't like getting um, sloppy drunk, but every once in a while it happens. That was one of the bad occurrences, and I wanted to make sure this year was a little more tame, and it was just a few beverages, good times, able to control myself, and um, yeah, didn't <laughs> didn't puke, didn't puke this year. So what do you do on Halloween filmies? Well, it didn't come close to that. That sounds like a fun time. I just stayed home, watched some movies, drank some Reds. Oh man, Dang. it was it You're was a part. It, it was a party night. Yeah. <clears throat> What'd you watch? I watched A Nightmare on Elm Street and The Conjuring. Okay, Ooh. okay. A Nightmare Some Before choices. the Stroke. Yes, yes. Nightmare on Elm Street. You know, I I thought I had seen that one before. That was the first time I ever watched that. <laughs> That's what? Really. Yeah, dude, that movie is fucking incredible. Hell yeah! Like, I I could I couldn't even imagine watching that movie back in the eighties. Just how fucked up and it, the way everything happens. Yeah, I don't find it particularly scary, but the um the the scene when she's in school and she sees yeah. the chick in the body bag getting mm-hmm. fucking dragged across the floor that is that's it's disturbing. disturbing. That the is imi- the, part of that the movie. imagery is masterful. Yeah, it's um it's classic, man. So is that sci-fi? <laughs> <laughs> Does it have elements of sci-fi in there? I should have watched that one this past October. Can't believe I didn't. Would you consider that a war movie? <laughs> um, yeah, war between Freddy and the girl. The Nancy. Girl. Nancy. Nancy. Yeah, I'm just shocked you haven't seen that before. Yeah, well, I, it wasn't a sci-fi film, so <laughs> there was no magic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, Harry, Pot- Harry Potter didn't have a wand up his butt, so I wasn't impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't impressed. <laughs> I didn't want to see anything. It was a good, uh, good Halloween. I'm glad you guys had a good time. Matt hanging out at the store, you know, selling <laughs> merchandise. That's what it's all about. It's always fun. What do you guys left a beanie here, by the way? Oh, oh, that's mine. I couldn't find yeah. it. I won't even lie. Head, probably. Yeah, I, I, I try. I was going to steal it and just not tell you about it. When I put it on my head, it was fucking like a yarmulke. Where was it? It was in one of those couches. I think it was in the one fucking Matt was sleeping in, but I don't remember him seeing, seeing oh, him wear he that. He was so. trying to steal it. Yeah. No. I got it somewhere. I'll, uh, I'll mail it to you. I, I was looking everywhere for it. I'm glad you, you really? found it. Yeah, I was. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he, yeah, he wouldn't even text Seth to be like, hey, uh, did you find a beanie? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you left those um, toasted Cheez-Its here too, man? Good, right? Man, I killed that whole box in one night. Toasty cheese. It's like you ate the whole. Bo- yeah, I mean, I buy them two at a time. Man, those amazing. things are fucking fire, man. Like, Told fuck. you he'd eat them. They're, be- they're better than regular cheeses. Yeah. Yes, they are. Okay. They're crispier. So they're not Ooh. the big kind. <laughs> no, no just, just a little burnt, a little so, burnt, so that the they, taste is a little toasty. I wish there was big cheese. I want like cracker sized cheeses, you know. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for the. I'll get that beanie to you. Um, Never. Sometime. <laughs> yeah. Next Eventually. time I drive. Yeah. I can't say I'm gonna go out of my way to get to the post office for you, uh, but I'll be there up. at some point. I'll yeah. I'll probably see uh, it by the time Phoenix rolls around. Probably. I will get it to you though. I actually do gotta go there like you know a week, so I'll send it your way, buddy. No rush, buddy. Thanks a lot. No problem. So well, enough of this shit. Since fucking, you know, October's done. It's time for some fucking more, a little more classy movies, in my opinion. You know, you just, yeah, you snap your fingers, and you're done with the the horror shit, and you're into, you know, the feel-good stuff. Oh, like, and it's nothing but, like, what are some of you guys' fucking November movies? Fall fall titles. Fall titles? Fall, fall. Well, a real, it's it's absolute feel-good film. I mean, just envelops the fall season. Envelopes. Envelopes. (laughs) 
en- en- envelops. <laughs> what it's movie? The village. Uh, the village. That's what yes. I was gonna say. <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> Took the words right out of his mouth. Uh, I mean, th- this film, y- you get the whole vibe of fall, you know, colonial times, yeah. worrying for your life. I mean, that's really what I want to feel when I'm in the fall seasons. Murdering animals? I need to fucking see this. You guys talk about this shit way too much. I know. I've been wanting to watch it, too. Have you? either of you never seen it? Never seen it. <laughs> that's why I said I need to see it. <laughs> well, it's like, I, it's like I, a I know coming, you have It's like a coming of uh, colonial age. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That sounds. Uh, Boy sits down at a desk. He writes with fucking <laughs> Takes a quill. His... He writes with a quill. <laughs> yeah, quill. Set a scroll. Yeah. <laughs> Shyamalan's best movie five. is Unbreakable. Are you sick? No. Because no you doubt. have six cents. That's why. I yeah, I got the fucking audio, fucking from Seth. Yeah, but I'm saying if you <laughs> saw that movie, fucking bitch. That, that would be the best movie you've seen. Still good. Have you seen Signs? Signs is pretty damn. It's solid. Solid. Masterpiece. That actually, that feels Novembery. Yeah, that could that could be it. I fucking for me, like I was a uh, Dead Poet Society, no doubt. Just uh, even the cover, this is screams November, screams it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd screams have to go it. with Goodwill Hunting for me. Oh, it's a given. It's, a given. it's, a, it's, it's not great your one. fault. It's one. So folly. It's not your fault. So, like, so what's fall. how, when's too early to start popping in Christmas movies, though? Well, uh, uh, I did. Never. I did the first day. Yeah, I know. Filmies jumped right into Home Alone. That for me, that's a little too early. I like to wait till I don't know. You know, maybe I don't know, November thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth. That's when I can start a uh, slide them in. Why the blue those days? Ah, uh, it's just you know the transition from Halloween to Christmas, no. Thanksgiving. It's got to be more than one day. It's just it's, it's too it's too much. You need, yeah, I get it. You need time to let it marinate, just kind of get over it. I, I get but, it. You know, I end up watching fucking Home Alone like four or five times during these next two months, anyways. So, yeah, that's plenty, the way. Plenty I of time. To, yeah, plenty all, of time. All, to squeeze all time Christmas movie. Go for it. Just first thing comes to mind. Christmas Story. I probably Home Alone two. Lost in New York. Hmm. Home Alone for me. Yeah, I was gonna say I'd probably say Home Alone. That's right. the thing, though. There's like but Christmas um, Story is fucking like right up there. Oh yeah. Yeah. There's like the you know handful of where you know there's like fucking hundreds and hundreds of fucking horror movies. There's just like that handful of Christmas movies, you know. So I like to kind of save them. Yeah, true. Not knock them out right away. No, a, another right good out. November movie though, Prisoners, the oh, ultimate yeah. Thanksgiving yeah. film. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's yeah. A, that's a feel good family film too. Oh yeah, yeah. it really yeah. gets the juice flowing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Watched it last year for the first time. I really really enjoyed it. It's a one time watch, but okay. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I don't need to revisit it anytime soon, but it, what, was, uh, it was it was good. What about your favorite Jake Gyllenhaal movie, Seth? October Sky. Isn't that a good fall movie? Shit, it is. I, have fucking, I haven't Sky. watched that like since fucking they made us watch it in high school. Man, I had to watch that fucking twenty times in school, man. Yeah, that was like the go-to I. movie. Man, it's one of the better great. ones they showed you, though. Yeah, Stand and Deliver is pretty good. Oh God, <laughs> Gandhi. I was shown Gandhi. I, never, I, never I wasn't showing any of this cool shit. shit I don't man. think they invented the TV when I was there. <laughs> you got to watch uh, that Romeo and Juliet, the Leo and fucking oh, whatever uh, Claire Danes version. Was. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I, you know, they should be showing kids Great Gatsby nowadays, the new version. I think that'd be a good oh, school. Yeah. We watched, yeah, we watched the Robert Redford one. Yeah, <laughs> was that when it came out? Yeah, in the seventies, <laughs> yeah, I was there because <laughs> I'm like fifty years old, apparently. Guess that. <laughs> Gather around and listen to the radio in school. And yeah. Everyone shit. quiet. <laughs> quiet. Morrison Wells is the Well, you know, I, there's a an October movie that um, I think is criminally underrated. Kind of gets shit on. I don't know why. It's Ooh, called Tower one, Heist. You know? Yeah, it's called Tower Heist. It's got Matthew fucking Broderick in it. It's Matthew got fucking, fucking Broderick. It's, Eddie it's Murphy. got Ed Murphy in it. You know, it's taking place during the um, Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. So, you know, perfect time. Man, I don't know why people shit on this movie. I fucking love it. It's turned into a holiday favorite of mine. I love it. Filmies, too. there you go. Someone with some sense in here. Ugh. Now, now you got me really thinking, dude. Homeward Bound, like that, just sounds like so fucking. Yeah. That, that end has got a nice um, kind of vibe to it, you Chance. know, like uh, yeah. Oh, Peter, <laughs> <laughs> he, was, he was too old. It was too far. 
He's not uh, coming back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but I, well, like I said, I watched the ultimate fucking November movie, Rudy, yesterday, first time. <sighs> Fuck, first yes. time watch, man. Man, dude. Teared up a few times. That's, that's a damn good fucking movie if you guys have never seen it. <sighs> I love it. It's, oh, it's my second it. favorite sports film right after Field of yeah. Dreams. It's got fucking November, like, all, I mean, it up its ass on that film, yep. you know? Yep. My son's going to Notre Dame. Oh. My son's going to Notre Dame. <laughs> <laughs> fucking great, man. I hate sports, and I love that fucking movie. So. Yeah, I mean, it's it's hard not to be emotionally you can, moved you by can, that film. You can apply that to life. You know what I mean? Sure, it's one of those sure. fucking movies. I love I it. I hate, like, okay, I hate when people talk about the movie. It's nothing like the fucking real story. I get that. They don't glorify that all at all in the room. I mean, you know, they didn't the show his autism or anything. Yeah, you know, but I mean, like, I don't care that that's not, like, the real story. It's just a fucking movie, and it's a fucking great movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I fucking love it. loved it. It's great score. Like, underrated Hell, score yeah. no one talks about. It's fucking mm-hmm. great, dude. I got, but there's one more right up filming is alley. Uh, Wes Anderson movies. Like, those okay. have a great fall feel. Like, Rushmore. Yeah, you yeah know Rushmore. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> fucking, like, Royal Tenenbaums. Even I like watching Mr. Fox. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't yeah. seen that yet. I like watching Boyhood in the fall. That's yeah, I'll probably do yeah. that. Yeah. We need you know what we need to do? We need to have a boyhood <laughs> commentary on the YouTube <laughs> channel. You know, it's what only saying? like I'm sure people almost expect that to come. Yeah. I, I fucking love boyhood. <laughs> it's, it's a masterpiece, you know. <laughs> I fucking love boyhood. <laughs> It's a fucking great movie. If you don't like it, fuck you. <laughs> it's what brought us together. Hell yeah. Six a.m. I'm looking for some I'm fucking <laughs> boyhood. Haters. I know. I know. We fucking still <laughs> talk about this movie, but like, it's seriously, you know, in our, in my opinion, it's that fucking good, dude. Well, you know what I said. Greatest film of my lifetime. <laughs> song <laughs> is a perfect. Wh- which song's that? Let. Oh my god! Um, great, great track by Family of the Year. It's called Hero. Find it on iTunes. Get that shit. <laughs> Help support them. <laughs> it's got they're, a great. They're, uh, they're I think poverty. I watched it. Yeah, yeah. They're they might not be doing so well now that Boyhood's kind of died down. But I think I watched that like fucking five times between November and December last year. So probably. Yeah. Good stuff. Oh fuck, bro! <laughs> we almost forgot the shout out of the week. Shout out of the week. Ooh, That's our, our new out. segment. I, I, last week. I fucking love this new segment, you know, because there's so many fucking guys out there that don't get, you know, the amount of views or like, you know, people checking out their shit that should be. So this week's shout out of the week is The Right Movies. Gage. Gage. Fucking love Gage. that guy. Love that guy. Yep. Fuck yeah. But uh, yeah, you know, does the same stuff as us. Huge fucking Blu-ray updates yep. and like. Some of the best ones on YouTube that uh, I watch, anyway. He just always picks up like solid editions. He does. He's always got, a, got the slips. Yeah, he's got good, good pickups. Collection. Good pickups. Uh, good explanations. Good shit. Yeah, he's a uh, he's solid man. Yeah, he's like he might be under two hundred subscribers. I'm not sure, but he definitely should be you know over yeah. that. So check his <clears> channel <throat> out. Fucking Gage. I mean, and fucking, he's just a constant supporter of everyone. Yeah, yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, really yeah. fucking appreciate you know all the support you fucking give our. I know. I shit. love the it's uh, awesome. I love the picture he tweeted out last week or whatever. He's drinking a nice craft brew, watching the episode <laughs> on his TV. Yeah, like dude, that. That whenever you post that shit, it just looks so legit and fucking yeah. awesome. So the the thing I like about him is that he actually watches the movies. Like he'll actually, you know what I mean? Like he'll oh, yeah. do the update and actually have something to say about it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I that, that's that's what I look for in a Blu-ray update. He, like, uh, guys who watch the shit that they buy. Yeah, he watches really? more fucking movies than me. Hey, that's got a well, red case. I'm buying that. five fucking. I'm buying five editions of that red case movie, but I'm never. Gonna watch it. <laughs> but hell yeah, fucking Gage. Uh, go follow him on Twitter. You know, Gage underscore right, and uh, yep. the right movies on YouTube. Links uh, will be down below on the YouTube if you guys yep, are watching it on YouTube. And we're going to keep bringing you uh, shout outs all the time. A lot of good content out there um, for anyone who, you know, questions the state of the uh, movie community or whatever on YouTube. There's plenty of great channels out there and we're going to try and bring some to your attention. So definitely check these guys out when we name them off. Um, would really appreciate that. Gage? Next shout out is fucking uh, look- Matt- what? <laughs> Sorry. That's the next shout out. Matt the scumbag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, we're, we're shouting straight. out guys that make videos. So. Oh, no. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah. JK and Bud. 
I ain't hanging out with a stoner. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Don't do that to me. 420 somewhere. All right. Let's, uh, let's keep this going here. Movie news. What do we got this week? Anything worth talking about at all? Well, I mean, it's not really worth talking about. We know how. <laughs> <laughs> Is any of this great, this sounds like a great about. story already. No, 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 no. Watch, watch. So we all know how much we love the new Ghostbusters uh, revamp. Oh, I just got chills. Female cast. Ooh, uh, vagina dripping, actually. Um, Ooh, but uh, uh, I'm wet. <laughs> yeah. So we all we all we all agree that we hate that fucking idea. Correct. I hate the concept of it. Yep. Pictures make me want to puke. Well, get this. <laughs> they're going, they're thinking about doing it to fucking Ocean's Eleven now. Uh, I know it's all, I don't think all of you've seen it, right? I, I used it. to own the box set and I sold that I shit haven't quick. Seen it. Well, I love fucking Ocean's Eleven. I think yeah, it's I've, seen, I've only seen that one. I haven't seen any others. Yeah, but now you they want to do an all female cast. Why? Why is that the new trend? Fuck off! <laughs> no idea. <laughs> Like Terrible. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm, I'm not into it. I like what the fuck is ocean Ugh, poop? It's uh, this would be like the third remake because isn't there <laughs> well, like, like, isn't there well, like the original has like the fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. The rat, rat pack. pack? Yeah, and then they they had this one with George Clooney, obviously Brad Pitt. Now it's like there's so many people in that movie. I don't even know how many female actresses are going to be in there. Like they have to get like Betty White as fucking All George right. Clooney's well, role. Well, the, th- the three leads. Who's who's it going to be? <laughs> Jennifer um, oh, Lawrence. Yeah, there you go. Rosie Jennifer. O'Donnell. Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Rosie O'Donnell. With and then Goldberg. Roseanne Barr with her comeback. I want to see Oprah in that. Yeah, Oprah, Whoopi Goldberg, <laughs> Rose- <laughs> Roseanne Barr. <laughs> like Roseanne and Rosie O'Donnell. Who's that fucking, that fat blonde comedian, Lisa Lampanelli? <laughs> Oh my god. She's not so fat. Oh, well, whatever. And uh Ellen DeGeneres can play the Andy Garcia role. <laughs> <laughs> she's oh, or she's taking the fucking shit from the casino. <laughs> I just I hate this fucking trend. All these fucking feminists running around, you know, and how to everything. Why they got to do that, man? Cuz everything's no, got to be equal, politically correct. Everybody's got to get their their fucking fill. For the hundredth time now, I don't hate women, but (laughs) (laughs) why do they have to fucking take all these fucking movies? Let's redo it. The female version. (laughs) Fuck that. I know. Not far. It's like Nexus of Mice and Women. (laughs) (laughs) I hope fucking nobody goes to see that ghostbusters women women and will. women children oh yeah no it's gonna do well boys you know, to, <laughs> well. boys to women <laughs> you got you guys had set it off that's it well they, <laughs> they already did girlhood so yeah that's true i just I don't they know, haven't done good. girls in the hood <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to you know what what's next though like seriously what what would be next after girls they do that don't cry oh <laughs> i mean what's another movie with a a male cast. Oh, let's let's remake it. Um, Women's rights. The A team. Oh. Yep. There you go. That's, that's there you that. Go. That'll be the next one. I can almost guarantee that. Well, I mean, they saw how well you know the Karate Kid when they went the route with the Karate Kid oh, and brought out Hillary, Hillary Swank. 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 We we we've seen this. It's a pattern. They all fucking just, suck. This doesn't work. Bottom man. line. <laughs> fucking shit sucks. Just fucking make an original movie. Don't call it Ocean's Eleven about fucking chicks that, you know, rob something. What the hell goes on in that movie? Why does it got to be fucking Ocean's Eleven? Nobody would fucking think, hmm, that's a rip off of Ocean's Eleven. Just fucking, you know, make your own shit. Make something new. I agree. Well, that could, that could be said about anything, too, not just fucking female. Okay. Yeah, I mean, well, they also do black versions of fucking movies, too, which is just ridiculous. Sure. But we're yeah, not going to get into that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, a Goonies version, oh, a reboot oh. with an all female cast. Oh, my heart hurts. <laughs> as, long as, as long as Emma Roberts is in it. Oh, uh, that, they ain't going yeah. that old. Uh, she's she could play like a teenager. We got to get uh, what's your your girl? <laughs> you like a lot from Wish I Was Here. <laughs> Joey you, King. Joey oh, King. Joey <laughs> King. Why don't you Joey? Why don't you send her a tweet and see if she'll do it? Joey, no, I know it won't you've be, got it won't five million followers. <laughs> 
Oh my god, Joy King, I heard on the Scumbags podcast that you're going to be in a Goonies reboot. <laughs> Joey, go. I know you've got 5 million followers, but uh, would you like to come on the podcast sometime? <laughs> I'm spelled C U M. Oh, shit. I actually was, uh, I, I was seeing something of her the other day. She's, uh, I don't want to comment. I don't know how old she is, but. She's in that new Zach Braff film with uh, Michael yeah. Caine and all them. Oh, yeah, man. What's that called? Um, fuck, I don't know what that's called, but I want to see it. Looks yeah, fucking, yeah. looks interesting. Anyways, I don't know. Oh, man. Uh, well, dude, I fucking read this today. Uh, the hotel from The Shining being okay. made into a fucking like museum. A horror really? museum. Like a yeah. horror museum. Ooh. How fucking badass does that sound? Are they That's just awesome. like taking a segment of it and turning it into a horror movie museum or what? It kind of hotel or what? Sound, it kind of sounds like it because they're they're saying that the hotel was basically built for that kind of thing. Um, it's a big but, place. I haven't been there, but yeah. But uh, Elijah Wood and Simon Pegg are some of the people that are on the board, and I guess they're kind of pushing for it. Elijah Wood is fucking thing. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, like the, what's that? That's out in like Colorado, right? Yeah, yep. yeah. It's yeah. in Estes Park, I believe. The Stanley Hotel. That's yeah, you, fucking uh, epic, though. I know. I've always wanted to go there. I'm just uh, stay in room. What is it? Two one three. It says um, it's they a, have an an annual horror themed Stanley Film Fest, but it, they're going to turn it into a full time horror museum. It's cool. So I guess that means full time is in nobody staying anymore. So I guess that means Scumbags Trip 2016. Oh my! Oh, Colorado fuck. baby, yeah. you know the what Stanley? I can do? That's Suck a huge it. fucking <laughs> breathe, breathe in the fresh air. <laughs> Clean eyes. Nice. You that's know a, it, baby. That's a huge hotel. I can't imagine they're shutting down the fucking hotel operations. Yeah, sure. that's, I, they've got to just be turning a section. Of it yeah, they just have like a museum section. Yeah, because that's like a real popular placement. Fun fact: if you stay there, they play The Shining 24 hours a day on. So a certain channel in Damn. the rooms. That's pretty F- sick. Funner fact, The Shining is a good fucking fall movie. Funnest fact, funner is not a word. <laughs> <laughs> I get more of a January, February vibe from The Shining. Yeah, but... there's 10 feet of snow on the ground. Yeah. Idiots. Yeah. Yeah. Almonds. Oh. <laughs> Fuck off, almond. You guys, uh, you guys ever seen The Room? I uh, haven't seen it, but that's that Tommy was out, right? Yeah. What is oh, it? What is it? Mark? It's it's considered one of the worst films ever made. I've never seen well, it. I've never. Too. What's it about? Uh, <laughs> it's I like a love. Know. It's a love triangle, but you just have to watch it because it, it's okay. masterful. Yeah, you real. never heard that clip, like, oh, yeah, I did not. I did not hit her. Yeah, oh, hi, Mark. I'll put it right here. Here it is. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh hi, Mark. Oh hi, Mark. That's what, <laughs> I, I mean, I've never seen it. It's I, I know yeah, well, the reputation it has. Widely considered one of the worst films ever made, but James Franco and Seth Rogen are getting the rights so they can make a behind the, a behind the scenes making of of that film with uh, <laughs> fucking James Franco doing everything, playing Tommy Wiseau. Oh, Two shitty God. actors making a movie about a shitty actor. Wow. Sign me up. Uh, so, so they're going to make like a fucking this is the end-esque like that ty- that kind of comedy of this fucking making of? I, I have no idea. I mean there's I not really – assume if it's them too, you know. Yeah. Uh, you actually like this though, Nick. It's, it's, uh, it was written – the screenplay was written by the guy who did The, the Spectacular Now. <laughs> I thought that guy hung himself. I don't know. I, that's just what I read, that he did it. I, I could be wrong. I'm thinking of the guy that wrote the book. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, He's the, yeah. Because he was battling depression, right? Something like that. Yeah. I want to buy that, though, now. I yeah. Know it was uh, it's a, yeah, it's a cult so, classic at this yeah, point. Yeah, definitely. What about, like, well, you just said James Franco, Seth Rogen. What about this Sound of Fury trailer? Did you guys see that? Oh, uh, what is uh, this? Goes full retard? <laughs> yeah, like I think James Franco's directing. It's an adaptation of like a William Faulkner novel. Okay. But like Danny McBride's in it, Seth <laughs> Rogen, James wow. Franco, and it's not a comedy. It's uh it's got Matt's girl Joey King in it. Ooh. Okay. And it has the fucking guy from Holes. I don't know if you guys I don't know what the fuck you know I'm talking about filmies. Oh yeah, I I I don't fucking some, know the it's some name. Hick name. He's in but... like Brother Art Where Art Thou as well, I think. He has a weird yeah. face. Oh, he's the, oh yeah, yeah, I know who you're talking 
Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, like, dude, this shit looks fucking weird as fuck. Like, it's like a, a what is it, a, what do they call it, a period piece? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and Seth Rogen. And it's not meant to be funny. No. But James Franco is, like, playing a retard with fucked up teeth, like, with some going something going on something going on bro he's like hey, and stuff. he's got this he's got this weird thing with making poems and short stories from hick stories it's it's weird yeah james franco is. is a weird fucking piece of shit dude yeah <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't Sorry, james. agree james if you're listening i apologize what you, did, you didn't like palo this? alto Oh, that them great. render him yeah, right his writing. Yeah, it is his writing. It's fucking terrible. Oh, did he write that? <laughs> they were oh. like based on his short stories or something. Yeah, it was based Shit. on one of the short well, stories. I gotta check out more of his work. I gotta check out more of his stuff then. <laughs> well, then you should have checked out the Sound of Fury trailer we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I'm a busy guy. Sorry, right, right, going on right. today. Sorry, the Wi Fi doesn't. I work wish that I could. Well. I wish I could live uh, movies 24 hours a day, but you know. I've watched yeah, trailers when I can. I mean, you yeah. really don't to watch a two-minute trailer, but it's all good. <laughs> no, I, you know, I, I got a lot of things going on. This is all second. Sorry, I asked you to watch three two-minute trailers. Maybe if they were interesting. Uh, they yeah. could be if you gave them a shot. Nah. Uh, yeah, you haven't even see seen them. Synop- How could you say whether they are? See the not? synopsis real quick. I ain't watching that. So you take time to look up the synopsis. Don't watch the trailer. No, nah, if the title's okay, not fuck off, Macadamian. <laughs> Macadamia. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. Pick, pick a simpler named nut. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, Wal- nut. Walnut in. Walnut. It's my joke, by the way. Now you're using it against me. It's great. I love it. <laughs> it's all good, buddy. Oh god! How about this? Apparently, the films are the the crowds that they're showing Creed is good enough that they're warranting a sequel already. Man, so fuck Creed. Are we gonna have five Creed movies? And then when Michael B. Jordan's in his 60s coming back. Yeah. It's gonna, they're just starting the cycle. It's old. a never-ending cycle. <sighs> I don't terrible, know. I don't have much to say movies. about this. but Well, see, the thing is, with the new the, the last Creed trailer I saw, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm yeah, not. Yeah, it looked all right. Yeah, like, yeah I'm not hating okay. on it as much anymore. But a sequel already? Let it come out first, you know. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, you can only get so much retrospective from those those screener crowds. Yeah. It looks like it looks like one of the better BET original films. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You mean that's not an NWA original? <laughs> you know, I you know, I don't know, man. I when I heard about it, I thought, guys, no way it's gonna be good. The trailers look okay, though. Well, if we're getting on a black topic, NWA, the, <laughs> are the we straight... getting on a black topic? Yeah, we could be. Okay. Could, could be. be. I'd rather Cause... see Urkel and Creed, but that's. Oh. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> It's a Leo White. Did, yeah. did I do that? Did yeah, I punch him? We'll fucking win. Carl Winslow as the fucking uh, there you the, go. The Mickey. The Academy Award for Best Actor goes to Jaleel White. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, the NWA shit. I just seen that. Like, I think it crossed like two hundred million dollars. Like, That's how insane. fucking insane is that? That it's not a comic book movie. It's a fucking say it, Seth. Bye. <laughs> Uh, bi- biopic. Roll the tape. Biopic. All the audio. But yeah, like this is a fucking biopic that fucking made two hundred million dollars in its awesome. a summer blockbuster. You know, yeah. Like well, that and it doesn't it's, ever I, happen. It's I almost. Te- that- go ahead. Go ahead. Go film me. It's, um, it's, it's go. almost. It's almost technically a period piece at this point too. But yeah. But I don't know, dude. And then I seen that uh, the director, I think his name's F. Gary Gray, I believe. He directed Friday, one of the best comedies ever made. Seth, check it out. I really doubt that, but I'll watch it. It's not that great. So yeah, much better it. than any so fucking good. Martin Lawrence bullshit you've ever I watched. I doubt it. I it's doubt good. that's for the national security. But <laughs> oh, my God. It is. It is. <laughs> it probably doesn't touch blue But street. either way, I just want to say, uh, looks like this dude is fucking going to be directing Furious 8 or whatever they're going to call it. Fast eight, quick oh, eight, God. you know. But it just uh, seems to be what they're doing with many. those. And and you know, when I was digging through this news or whatever, I saw that uh, that last Fast and Furious was what was it called? Furious Seven, Fast Seven. Yeah. Oh yes, Seven. Yeah, it's the Furious first seven. Universal movie ever to make a billion dollars. Jeez, how crazy is that? Like that's, that's the insane. first movie. Like Universal well, you know, has some just, classics, bro. Just fucking, I don't know, man. Fuck those movies for one. 
keep pumping them out, you know? Yeah, well, but the, pl- I mean, was, the ticket prices are more expensive, and like, there's more people on this fucking earth, and what, people are dumber, so they're gonna go watch the fucking. On, show. on that's, top that's of that, like, run? what movie, like the seventh movie in a franchise, makes a no. billion? That's yeah. fucking insane, dude. Well, and I, I doubt people that went to see Furious Seven care about stuff like director and writer and stuff. Oh, but I'm James, sure, James, I'm sure they were playing the Paul Walker card. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 that too. But James Wan directed it. I mean, he's just he's when it comes to horror genres, he's just he's rocking it. I don't, I don't know. I guess he did well with this one. So that's what well, they're yeah, doing. He, they're picking all these directors that are making you know movies that are just fucking low budget and make just, a shit ton of money. I. Yeah. I that's like the biggest mystery to me, the appeal of that fucking series. Seven movies of fucking car racing. Car stunts. I mean, I, I <laughs> well, don't get it. It, but. it used to be racing movies. They used to be about fucking illegal street racing, and then it turned into uh, like a heist. Yeah. yeah, like the, 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 the best heist fucking people you've ever seen. In I mean, I, I just I could not imagine sitting down and like fucking watching all those back to back. God, lead me to suicide. <laughs> yeah. It sounds horrible. I agree. <laughs> but... Didn't you? What were you saying about Han Solo and like the fucking act, original actors film? He's okay, talking about yeah. this. Okay, yeah. So, so I came across this article talking about you know actors who could have been in big roles, like Matthew Broderick could have been Walter White. Oh my god! Are you serious? Is that for real? That that's is not for real. real. That's that's what I read. Yeah, that sounds fucking. That sounds. Well, better. I mean, sure, he could have been. That sounds better. <laughs> yeah, what? yeah. Shut he could've up! Been. You. Suck. He, he he said it didn't interest him, so he passed on it. And then we've also because he t- couldn't talk to the camera. <laughs> he's been picking great scripts for years. <laughs> exactly. He he's he knows what he's doing apparently. And then uh, Tom Selleck was originally supposed to be Indiana Jones. I'm on board. I mean, how would you how would you like to see a big mustache Tom Selleck running around dodging bol- boulders and stuff? Not unless he's carrying a baby. I would and love fucking it. Ted Danson's <laughs> right next to him. But one of the more interesting ones, Al Pacino was originally <laughs> supposed to be Han Solo. Wow. <laughs> I had no comment. Yeah, like that's just uh, Stallone auditioned for that role as well. <laughs> yeah, you talking to me, <laughs> Luke? I don't know. Yeah, he said the reason he passed on it was because he couldn't understand it. I didn't know they had Italians on Mos Eisley. <laughs> I, I think I did De Niro, but yeah, you know how it goes. <laughs> now you know. Luckily for a guy like Pacino, went on and had a fucking great career. But could you imagine, like, if he fucking fizzled out, like, he would exactly. always be thinking, yeah. God, what the fuck was I thinking? Not taking yeah. that role. Oh yeah. Yeah, I always wonder that, like, fucking, even a guy like Matthew Broderick, I mean, not so relevant anymore, you know, I wonder if he lays down at night and thinks, fuck, I could have been Walter White, that could have been me. Right? Yeah. I would never, like, who knows where that show, who who knows where that show would have gone, though. I'm just thinking about how how terrible it would have been with Matthew Broderick and Aaron Paul. I thought, I think it'd be cool, man. (laughs) You would. I am, I am the danger. Yeah. (laughs) I am the one who knocks. What are you still doing here? (laughs) Brian Cranston's Cameron. real good, but I think uh, I think Broderick would have brought a little more depth to the character. I think Cameron would have done well too. Yeah, that Alan Ruck is great as as uh, as <laughs> Jesse Pinkman. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, we're so talking. Then, now we're talking. Actually, I'm sick, bitch. Walter White, stay off from cancer. Cameron. <laughs> oh, uh, another another piece of. News that came across my desk just now. Bad Santa Two is a go. Uh, I'm I'm all right with this as long as it's not like uh, like a Harold and Kumar Two or like a <laughs> hot tub yeah. Time you don't want it to two. be good, I guess. You fucking idiot, because that I movie's f- great. What did you guys think of Bad Santa? Oh, it's it's pretty decent. Right? It's a fucking yeah, classic I, comedy. I, I love it. Like aside from just a Christmas movie, it's classic comedy, bro. Bernie Mac kills it. Literally, he's, well, yeah. Him and and John Him and John Renner literally kill it. Yeah, they're both dead. <laughs> Coincidentally, they killed it. <laughs> and then themselves. Oh, man, well, come not on. Necessarily. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. I mean, Everybody... you want to see Bernie Mac really kill a role, you got to check out Soul Man. Guess who? Anybody? <laughs> Never no. seen it. God, yeah. Masterpiece. Guess who? Yeah, well, I don't know if it's still uh, happening, but... Uh... I don't know if you guys are aware, if you guys seen it, but the Entourage movie, it had Billy Bob Thornton in it. And uh, a while back, there was talks that the guy that created Entourage and directed uh, the movie, Doug Ellen, is going to be directing Bad Santa 2. So I don't know. <laughs> I'm down for this. I love that movie. So um, Which movie? Bad, Bad Santa? Santa. Yeah. So expect to see Adrian Grenier, Kevin Connolly, and 
you know, <laughs> giant trauma in Bad <laughs> Santa 2, hopefully. Let's hope not. <laughs> but yeah, dude, What uh, I just wanted to touch on a couple trailers that came out. Don't know if you guys seen them, but Charlie Kaufman's, pronounce Ooh. it, filmies? Anomalisa. And uh, it looks like a fucking masterpiece, bro. It does. Uh, and the best picture incredible. goes to Anomalisa. Honestly, um, I'm not trying to be controversial here. I just don't. I, don't, I really don't understand why you guys are all uh, you know, worked up about this. It looked, no, you know, well, look like because we have opinions. It looked like a. Are different. So. It looked well, like a. Like, it looked like a three out of five to me. I don't know, dude. This guy, like everything he's done, has blown me away. Like it's been like I was telling these guys earlier. All the movies he's done has been like unlike any fucking other movie I've ever seen. Like being John Malkovich is like so different. Like it's I don't know. It just stupid. takes a little bit more f- uh, than that fucking hipster stop motion animation shit for me to really be excited about it. But maybe it'll be great. I don't know. I, I don't know, dude. It's that. just got that like I don't know that like her vibe to me, kind of. Sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. I see that. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. I, I get what you're saying. I don't know, dude. It looks fucking good. I can't wait. Predicting it now. A best picture nominee. Scumbags prediction. Uh, yeah. I think it's going to so, even win. I'd say so, yeah. Fuck the boyhood haters. <laughs> and I'm, I, I'm looking for some animal haters. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we need something new to latch on like that That's and just the repeat one. the fucking... <laughs> right. Just we just repeat the fucking process. Do it all. But I mean, I, they're, they're, they're sneaking this movie in like last second on the 30th of December just to get some of that that Oscar vibe. I though. mean, this is even the first, this is the first trailer that's even dropped for it, I think, right? I think so. Yeah. The only one I've seen. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, dude. It's just it looks magical. I like. I didn't even know that the that was same guy behind that Eternal Sunshine movie. I got that movie that like yeah, tomorrow. Yep. You know. I couldn't but make it's it got ten minutes into that fucking movie. It's got David. Too- <laughs> I thought it sucked. Oh my! Are you serious? Yeah, I fucking hate it. He's fucking uh, amazing. As I've heard a lot of people to say, it's like a fucking masterpiece. Well, I didn't Apparently, Anomalisa, what I'm reading, it has 100% on Rotten Tomatoes based on 32 reviews already. Means nothing, but okay. I know it means nothing. Did, it's what, got what 90, it? 98, 98 on Metacritic. Oh, well, you know what else has a great score on Metacritic? <laughs> Boyhood with a 100. <laughs> and only like 10 other movies ever made have that. So, um, Illuminati. Could be. I'm down because it's got David Thewlis, who plays Professor Lupin from Harry Potter. So that's all I need. But yeah, I'm way into that. And then did you guys see the new De Niro Efron, Dirty Grandpa? I didn't watch it yet. But... I'm, I'm telling you, like this is going to be funny, bro. This is going to be fu- comedy. Filming. No, it's so not. It's going to be It's going to be just like this, We Are Your Friends. No, just... no. It's going to have more of the Neighbors vibe. But with De Niro, you want to see De Niro in a good, you know, modern comedy. You got to check out Las Vegas. That's a good four and a half out of five for me. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Well, we all have opinions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't talk like that. No, that but... one's. <laughs> I'm not I... going back down that road. But De Niro's been doing so many <laughs> shitty movies lately. I mean, this could be another one, but like to me, it kind of looks like uh, like this is what I've been waiting for De Niro to do. Something like. Just this? replace some really <laughs> fucked up old man, you know? Where he's, where he's fucking a half of age chick. Yeah, and like he squirts fucking like, and it's, uh, what do you call Arby Plaza? What's your name? Oh, Awkward Plaza? Yeah, Awkward Plaza. <laughs> <laughs> she's so fucking aggravating. Uh, she's yeah. a, she's almost as bad as Greta Gerwig when it comes to Oh, that. she it's like we it's get worse. the fucking shtick, you know, fuck off her. Can't you just talk? <laughs> Why do you gotta fucking be like fucking dumb bitch? Every <laughs> fucking scene, but every fucking uh, it's true, though. You know it's fucking true. You know I'm not lying. Either way, I hope the movie's fun. <laughs> but I mean, these is, guys is De, aren't in. Is De Niro really that hard up for cash that he needs to do this film? Yeah. Bro, he just loves acting. He said he'll act till the day he dies. Well, I'm, but it doesn't know, mean you have to act in everything that's given to you till the day well, you die. When you get to a certain age, you're only getting so many amazing fucking screenplays to participate. A, a movie like that, though, dude, you got it. Like, De Niro? <sighs> He probably makes at least like ten or fifteen mil still. I bet. Yeah, yeah. He's he's one of the dick. biggest names still around. But it's sad because I've also seen movies that were like straight to DVD shit come out with them as well. So, like, I don't know if there, you know, there's like this movie with him and like Bruce Willis and like, I don't know, dude. It was real fucking terrible though. And like, they're it's straight to VHS. It's like, dude. I don't know. I think he's done so many great movies. He doesn't give a fuck. Oh. He doesn't care. He's done yeah, his exactly. shit. He's already. I mean, he is the fucking greatest actor it's, to ever it's live. It's not going to besmirch his character any. No. <laughs> shit movies. 
Yeah, I mean, that's he paid his dues. I, mean, I agree. He's done so many great things. He could do fucking, you know, 100 shitty, terrible yeah, comedies I'm, or whatever in a row, and it wouldn't really affect anything. I'm still praying for a Bullwinkle 2 sequel. Ugh. With, oh uh, <laughs> what's the guy's name from Seinfeld? Newman? <laughs> no, with the glasses. The fucking bald. Fuck. George Costanza? Yeah. Jason Alexander? <laughs> yeah, Jason Alexander. Classic actor when him and De Niro performed in uh, the Rocky and Bullwinkle wow. live-action adaptation. Oh, my God. I've never seen that shit. It's classic, bro. Rene, it's a Rene Russo classic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's fucking, you know, I got one more in trailers I was wanting to talk about that. By the Sea, like, Angelina Jolie is, I don't know, she's starting to look like a great director, in my opinion, honestly. Yeah, she wrote and directed this one, I think. That's some didn't correct. she un- she directed Unbroken, right? Yes, supposedly. Yeah. And I don't know. <laughs> yeah, as far <laughs> as we know. But yeah, and her DP was her Roger name's Deakins. on it. Exactly, her name's on it. She's like, um, yeah, I like that shot, Roger. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> she's the she's the director. But yeah, yeah this, exactly. this one stars uh, you know, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. I guess this is their first movie since the classic Mrs. Mrs. Smith. Yeah. I want to see another Tomb Raider. Enough of this shit. <laughs> Gosh, you have the fucking worst. Ah, fucking... I love that shtick you have. It's great, but it's not a shtick. It's not a shtick. You guys anymore. are Tomb Raider fans? No. <laughs> I thought this movie was the fucking. I thought we were about to be talking about the C movie with uh, Thor and Ron Howard and the whale. I thought that's what this See, was. This cause... is the this is the part of the podcast where you pause, go watch a trailer, <laughs> come back with some fucking knowledge. I, I could I couldn't get to him today, buddy. I understand. It's all right. Didn't have two minutes of extra time. We'll take nope. a shit. Why don't you go get food poisoning? <laughs> See, yeah, I'm sick and you're fucking cracking jokes. Okay, go keep going, keep going. Sorry, but no, the cinematography looks great. But this final, this last trailer that I just saw did not have like any dialogue. But I was yeah, still was like, like really intrigued by it. I don't know. There's no dialogue. There's not much going on. But you, you, you can tell they're they're on a vacation. It seems like they're trying to fix their relationship. You know, I get that this, kind of film. Just from the cinematography, Matt, not saying story, but this Tree of Life vibe. And it's, it's like just <laughs> well, just sets out already. The, yeah, I'm the out. DP. I, I'm honestly, I'm not fucking, I don't have it on the desk right now. I'll, but I'll get on it for you. Okay, get on, get on the desk. <laughs> extra, extra, read all about it. Hey, Robert Ellsworth. <laughs> Dude, we got to write this Lost Boys 2 sequel. <laughs> Are we, got, we in it? Uh, no. Got a guy named Christian Berger. Any, Can't see. Any oh, notable yeah. works, bud? No, no. He looks like uh, he's Austrian, so yeah, I think he keeps to his country because there's really nothing that, that I see from him. Either way, let us know down below what you guys think because of these trailers, some of this news we went past. Sure. I'm curious. I'll, uh, I apologize. I'll try and watch him next week. It's all right, man. I was not uh, really under the weather. I could, <laughs> I could chime in with you on that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Old choke oh, never hits. <laughs> well, interesting bunch of trailers there. I apologize for not being uh, more active in the discussion, but like I said, I'm out with food poisoning. Be back next week. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what do you guys got for uh, new releases? What's coming out? Anything well, worth my cash? Probably not. Well, apparently this was worth your cash because you saw it in theaters. We got Terminator Genesis coming out. <laughs> oh God. For twenty two ninety nine, for seventy three dollars and forty two. Don't tell me you saw yeah. that on five dollar Tuesday. No, I saw that on full price Thursday. Oh, oh my fuck. god! <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> so you've pretty much already bought the Blu Ray. I know. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> we all make mistakes in life. You learn by your mistakes in life. I have no interest in seeing this film whatsoever. It sucks. It sucks. So, I agree. There's only two Terminator movies. I agree. And yeah, it ends there. It yeah. ends after two. It There's ends 40, after 41 releases of the first film, though. And I'm buying them all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it ends. <laughs> the story ends when they lower Arnold into the fucking lava at the end of T2. Judgment Thumbs Day up. story over. Yeah, that's it. It's done. That's it. Uh, <laughs> next up, we have oh, your favorite guy, Seth, Martin Lawrence. We have Bad ooh. Boys, Bad Boys 2 Combo, 4K ooh. Remastered. I seriously Damn. hate those fucking movies. Oh. <laughs> They are so shitty, to be Welcome honest. Welcome to Earth. Oh, Michael Bay, there you go. I'll be honest, I've never seen Bad Boys, so no comment. Yeah, don't you hate don't waste Smith. don't waste your fucking time with I that know, that's shit. as much as I love uh, Martin Lawrence, that's why I avoided him. I'm just not a not a Will Smith fan, like at all. Finally using your brain. 
But I'm ho- I'm still holding out hope for a uh, blue streak too. Oh God! Oh, but Luke Wilson, hot pizza. <laughs> Dave Chappelle's <laughs> acting comeback. It's great. Uh, I know well, you guys like Black Knight. I saw your faces watching. It. I liked it. I, I think my lie. face was buried in my phone. Hey, there was you go. Don't you don't have to deny it, Matt. That's it. Just embrace it. I liked it. I'm gonna. Agree. No, I would. I'd give credit where credit was due. Where, where were you sleeping while you're watching that? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. We didn't talk about it. place we shall not name. Let's not talk about sixty nine. It's already enough bad shit said about us. We don't need to add fuel. To Ass the to mouth, <laughs> foot to mouth. Does this bed have sixty nine? Are they fucking sleeping together? You hear my oh, new song? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. you fucking juggalo. <laughs> On Island, we can have fun. Hot dog bun. Got my dick in your hot dog bun. <laughs> God, <laughs> God, <man. laughs> so it's time for Star Wars to cash in. They're coming out with steel books for each separate film. Are you fucking oh, kidding me? Oh, really? Yep. Each one has a different face on it. I might have to get What that. is it? <laughs> What? What is it? Star <laughs> Wars. <laughs> oh, okay, Star Wars. Steelbooks. I might okay. have to get that because I don't you like that to participate. Set. Is that no? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> so, but are they the individual releases? Or are they a trilogy steelbook or what? Are no, they? each one is individual. Okay. Mm-hmm. God. All six have different steelbooks. Which, Man, ca- which characters are on those? We've got Darth. We got a stormtrooper. We've uh, we've got Yoda. Yoda. Darth, Darth Maul. Maul. And uh, as long as these fuckers buy, you know, every single different version of every single fucking movie, they'll, they'll keep, keep uh, pumping it. them out. Yep. I could, you know, I could always go for, I, I like the Star Wars collection, you know, but I want the fucking, you know, the uncut, the untouched George Lucas fucked with versions, you know? True. I liked Hayden Christensen inserted at the end of episode or uh, Return of the Jedi. <laughs> oh my God. I thought it was fucking good, so whatever. I, I want to see... You know, the cliche Star Wars, oh, Han shot first, you know what I'm saying? I think, I, I really think they should have fucking found a way to, or maybe in one of the future movies, get Hayden Christensen back in there. I know they were talking about it. Oh, yeah, he's going to get a solo one. Ooh. Oh, God. Jeez. Just like that idea, we have the film Trainwreck coming out. <laughs> oh. Gross. Yeah, that's a Judd Apatow film. I love that's this exactly guy. exactly what it is. But he's fucking... I ain't watching a fucking movie led yeah. by Amy Schumer. Sorry. No. Or Geek. written by her, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> oh, it definitely is. <laughs> Amy dumb cunt. <laughs> I think I'm going to write LeBron in the movie. You yeah, like rather, that, Judd? I'd, ra- I'd rather watch a different ogre. And people before. fucking like that shit. Like, that <laughs> was a fucking well re- <laughs> it, it blows my mind that, that was well received. Like, what the fuck? People I like sh- that dumb humor. That's why Vacation yeah. was made. Ugh. Don't True. There you that. go. There you go. Ooh, ooh. Next up, we have Chaplin's SNA comedies. Fifteen newly restored films. Ooh. Wow. Ah, yes. Sixty dollars. Blue. Sixty dollars uh, for fifteen Chaplin Blu-ray he's putting films. He's putting it out. Uh, Flicker Freak. Alley. Yes. Hey. All sixteen of Charlie Chaplin's two real comedies made for the SNA Film Corporation. Man, that is fucking sick. I'm down. Whenever, whenever it gets a little bit cheaper, I will, I will pop on that for sure. I love Charlie Chaplin. Mm, he's my favorite. Okay. God, I want to shave my mustache. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want to look like Hitler. God, God I want to be. Wanna God, I want to be. De- the hat. <laughs> God, I want to be deaf. I was almost him for Halloween. But you didn't have the hat, so it was Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was Chuck Noland. Oh, from, that was awesome, cast. by the yeah, way. Yeah, that was actually a really good costume. Thanks, buddies. Uh, next up we have, ooh, Better Call Saul Complete Season 1. I Never checked out that I show. I need to fucking finish it, It's a great it, show, but I'm not paying $45 for a season <laughs> of a show. Does it come with the code? <laughs> it comes with a piece of Saul's hair. Uh, you get 10 bucks for the code. <laughs> but... No code. I only watched the first two it episodes. It does. I, well, I was, iTunes digital copy. I was really yeah, fucking okay. intrigued by that it's shit, though, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, still too much. Still what, too what much. What would you give? Like you saw the yeah. season, right? Oh wait. Let's see. Um, 
Not seeing much else this week. We have Enchanted Kingdom 3D. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you guys big fans of the Enchanted Kingdom? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not seeing much. Maybe if Looks... it has Keiko from Free Willy in it. Looks like... Uh... <laughs> All right. I love when you try to be funny and nobody fucking responds. It's my favorite part of these fucking podcasts. <laughs> Clint That's Eastwood good. in the Iger sanction. Don't know if you guys heard of that. No, no I, I haven't. Good. I, yeah, I think uh, I think it, there's enough Blu-rays this week. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, do you, do you want me to go through every Mill Creek title <laughs> coming out this week? Ours a, version one. Wow, I wonder what's going on with Clint Eastwood because he's got a bunch of films coming out in blue. But we won't talk about that. I just got that. Sacrilegious. So what's up with boy? Uh, some board game releases this month. So, uh, Sacrilegious to not fucking say every Blu-ray. You ever see his? Uh, he does like uh, he gets screeners from Bill Creek. It's the funniest fucking shit. What, what's the, the guy's name, Seth? So these people know. Shout Check out. him out. We're not making fun of him, by the way. I love this guy's channel. His name is The Artist Version One One Point Oh. <laughs> um, he uh, does board game updates. You know, <laughs> does out there's and a, there's a community season. for everything on YouTube. Yeah, he's eating abouts. You could insert the clip where he's like, "It's that sacrilege. <laughs> That's sacrilegious." Oh man! <laughs> you gotta start fucking inserting clips from people's videos now into the podcast. <laughs> that shit's comedy, though, bro. Oh man! But yeah. Okay. Uh, movies coming to theater. Uh, I actually, I mean, filmies were talking about this one. Uh, it's called Brooklyn. It's probably off the radar, but it has yes. the chick from Lost River, Domino Gleason. And the guy that played fucking Bradley Cooper's son in The Place Beyond the Pines. That scumbag. And yes, oh. it looks like he can act. <laughs> it's a period piece, like a romance thing, but I- I'm interested in it. The trailer sold me. Uh, she's fucking smoking. What's her name? <laughs> her name, I can't pronounce it. Um, so, Sarah Sarah's Ronan. Sarah's Ronan, there you oh, go. Oh, that chick? Lovely yes. Bones chick? Let me see. I haven't okay. seen her in a long time. Let's see what she's looking like. Oh, I'm, gonna give her, I'm gonna give her one of my ratings. Didn't you Is watch Lost you? River? Not I, me. I, oh, didn't I did. you watch Grand Budapest? I own it, baby. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, let's, let's see. You would hate Lost River. And Domino yeah. Gleason. This guy is fucking killing it, bro. He's, He's getting, the fucking he, man. Like, but are we in... talking about the right chick? This chick looks like fucking Hillary Clinton. Okay, well you're probably not spelling it right. Oh, I'm spelling it right. Wait, we're talking about the chick from Lovely Bones, right? Yeah, right. if you don't think she's hot, then uh, yeah. Why don't you go step in the crack in your shower? <laughs> go to Google search, type I'm her gonna, name. I'm gonna do it. Type, I'm gonna do it look, now. Matt, you will agree. <laughs> type her fucking name in the 2015 and look at the images. Like, I don't. If I look at the wrong person, <laughs> hold on. I'm look at. Yeah, you're definitely. You are definitely looking at the wrong person. No, I'm not. You guys yeah, know what you you're are. talking about. You're, oh you're, my, you're thinking, well, you were. Why you, the, you you put, typed in? This girl is fat in these Google pics. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Spe- well, you said spell- 2015, right? <laughs> Hold on, I'm yeah, looking it up. I want to see Kurt. She, look, oh she looks God, nothing. She, she looks nothing like oh her IMDb photo. <laughs> Go to her IMDb photo and tell what me that she, she looks. What the fuck are you guys talking like a, about? Oh, like God. a stay-at-home mom. Now I see what you're talking about. There's no way that's Photoshop. Dude, go to no, her fucking Photoshop. IMDb photo and tell me she's she doesn't gonna, look like a dime. She's gonna be fucking. She Hillary looks Clinton like a fucking half pile. dollar. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Here we go again. Like silver chicks. dollar. No, I just wanted to make sure I was looking at the right thing. I'm not impressed. I'm like almost kind of repulsed. Don't don't type in the 2015. That was your first. Well, message. I want to see what she looks like now, fucker. Let's see. Okay, yeah, yeah. In that IMDb picture, yeah, she looks like a you know like a nine. Yeah, I don't know what happened in this picture. <laughs> she looks like a uh, like a nine. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think that's just a bad picture because when you look at her from the same... What the fuck are you talking about? There's like rows and rows of bad pictures then. Fuck. She's plumper. You just hate hate women. That's it. Brooklyn coming out November 4th actually. So this will actually be coming out a day or two prior to you guys listening to this because you know we record it live. So coming out (laughs) today. Have you seen that uh, movie Hannah she was in by the way? I haven't. I've heard that was good. Karate fighter shit. You heard wrong because it blows. It, it, it was bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, uh, but yeah, for the Bond fans, <laughs> November 6th. Oh, why, is that, why is that so funny? <laughs> I don't fucking know. The transition was terrible. 
but Spectra, Spectre, Specter. There you go. God. There you go again. But yeah, Spectra, Spectre, Spectra. I don't know anything about James Bond. Uh, never watched any of them. The most expensive movie ever made. I'm not big on really? the uh, Daniel, Craig, Daniel Craig version. <laughs> don't count my facts, but that's it what is I mean. directed by Sam Mendes, though, so I am in. Oh yeah. Well, what what else dun, is he dun, directed? Dun, film dun, 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 Well, dun, 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 dun. a small time film, American okay. Beauty. That we never saw the house of. <laughs> that's a Best Picture winner. It is. It's a great film. I love it. Ten out of ten masterpiece. We've yeah. also got Christoph Waltz is in this film. Oh, is he the villain in this one? Yes, he is. Plays a pretty good villain. Yes, and I do. I smell an Oscar nomination. Would you like a glass of milk? <laughs> Would you like a... Well, well, James, here we are. You have Jews under the floor, do you? <laughs> <laughs> you have the Jew milk. hunter. <laughs> I'm the oh. Jew hunter. But next up, uh, this this film, I'm highly anticipated for. Uh, it's been getting like great reviews. It's called Room, starring Brie Larson. <laughs> And okay, so things. when I was looking up the room, I found that one. So I was like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> God. No, actually, yeah. She she's been getting fucking Oscar buzz, right? Yeah, and like but... the description sounds amazing. Like uh, the description of the film is: after five year old Jack and his mother escape from the enclosed surroundings that Jack has known his entire life, the boy makes a thrilling discovery: the outside world. Oh, so okay, I get it. They get out and they don't know how to behave in the real world. Yep, yeah, that's, exactly. that's, about, that's, that's pretty interesting. After short term twelve, dude, she's fucking amazing. Yeah, as an eight on, uh, I'm, yeah, she's one of my favorite actresses working. You know, when she does she, like good work, I feel yeah, like she's, she's really underrated though. Like most people wouldn't know her. Yeah, hey, yeah, they don't. Yeah. She did like short term twelve and like I guess twenty one Jump Street is like her other most notable role, probably. Yeah, she did Spectacular Now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's 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 pretty decent. Oh, but uh, yeah, yeah. speaking of filmies, she's the next the next head, movie though. coming out. The Peanuts movie. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> At least I know how to say thing? things right. <laughs> Spectre. <laughs> good, uh, good impression. And that movie is gonna be funner. But yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> did we did we really need an updated Peanuts uh, movie? I, I I don't know. I, it's for the new generation of idiots. Why can't Sorry. those kids just watch fucking Charlie Brown Christmas and be happy with it? That's a fucking masterpiece. See, I, I need to grab those on Blu-ray because I haven't oh. watched those since I was a kid. Oh, oh another dude, November Charlie... flick. Isn't there like a Charlie Brown pumpkin or fucking the Thanksgiving one? There is. There, yeah. the great pumpkin. Yep. There we Charlie go. Brown Christmas is fucking amazing, but nah, nah, I, yeah, I can't believe they're still milking this shit. Mr. Schultz is rolling around in his grave. <laughs> <laughs> they're all like cartoonized and like look yeah, it weird looks weird shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a fan. I don't know. But then there's this other one, Spotlight, coming out same day, November 6th, today. Uh, about It has Mark Ruffalo, Michael Keaton, Rachel McAdams, Lee Schreiber. <clears throat> this is the one about the uh, Boston Globe uncovered the massive scandal of child molestation. In the Catholic Church. Yeah. This sounds don't forget that. pretty molesty, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like... I just I don't know, dude. Something about this movie is like it's trying to get the Oscar buzz, but it just doesn't look good. It's it doesn't seem like the uh, subject matter would appeal to a mass audience, but yeah. Oh, well, yeah. They love the they love church. Why would they want to watch something that besmirches it? Ugh. I love religion. Yeah, I mean that's pretty much it for this week in movies in the theaters. Scumbags, fuck yeah! Check out our spreadsheet. <laughs> Definitely. It's another week I won't be making a trip to rave motion pictures. The, uh, <laughs> oh, five dollar Tuesdays. You never no, t- not... took us to the theater. I'm a Why would t- you need to go? I always wanted to see what theater. Over movie to. people. So you haven't seen a movie theater? Not now. I I want to see an I win one. Oh, it's just one of them, uh, you know, Cinemarks. It's all over the place. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, interesting selection. Uh, before we wrap this up, you guys. Been watching anything? Any flicks? Want to want to bring back a little what we watched? I've always always like talking about the uh, shit that we're seeing. Did you really just ask me if I watched a movie? Uh, I yeah yeah. Eight on Sunday. Well, surprisingly, I did. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't want to jump the gun. I don't want to shoot my load too early. <laughs> What'd you watch, filmies? <laughs> Oh, well, last day of October, I had to fit one last horror movie in. 
Insidious Chapter 3. Oh. Now, I'm a big fan of the first two Insidious films. I thought what James Wan did with those films and with the horror genre was just it was great. He's, he's a great person. Great. I don't know why he went to Furious 7, but... Because they paid him. That's a question for another day. Silence, sir. Because they paid him. <laughs> that's why, you peanut. <laughs> So uh, this is a prequel to the first two, and it, it definitely is not as good as the originals. Uh, I was hoping for a trilogy to kind of ri- 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 I can't talk. I'm stroking. Sorry, guys. To kind of r- the movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, this film was funner for sure. <laughs> Evan, Evan Junior over here. <laughs> Did you like uh, it? Did you? Not? I, yeah. <laughs> Spit it the fuck out. What movie did you watch again? Uh, fuck. <laughs> It was the scares <laughs> This isn't scumbag. You know, well, to you guys wrap shut up, the fuck up. I, to I wrap up explain the it. end of October, I decided <laughs> to sit through one more final <laughs> last <laughs> horror movie, movie recommendation. Well, I checked out the Smosh movie, which <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's great. Let's go. We're not trying to make this a three-hour episode. Let's let's you know. No, it was good. Some good scares, just very cheesy at times. It definitely felt like it was not done by the same guy. I actually saw your uh, you know your little letterbox write up, which it was impressively like you know it was good, right? Yeah, for a guy who says such stupid shit in person, you know, you actually type pretty pretty well. Well, nice thank grammar. you for saying well instead of good. That was nice. That was nice good. grammar. Um, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the film was decent enough to to warrant a checkout, I I think, but it's it's nothing groundbreaking, nothing nothing amazing. Yeah, I still need to watch uh, the second one. I, I like the first though; I thought it was pretty solid. Yeah, I mean, they're good modern day horror films. I recommend them. I gotta check sure. it out. Yeah, did, like, so did you buy that? Shit. Did you buy it? No, I watched it legally online. Sure. Okay. Yeah, hundred percent legal. Got it. Yeah. So, um, yeah, whoever's next, what'd you watch? I'll, I'll go next. Um, so I checked out a Seth recommendation, Lime Life. Oh, fuck. I forgot you. Watched. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Yeah, yeah. Do I, surprisingly, well, I mean, not surprisingly, it's an indie. It's an yeah. indie film. I liked yeah. it a lot. I thought yeah. it was really fucking good, dude. Like, uh, yeah. I mean, you Al- know, it's it's nothing groundbreaking. It follows a lot of the uh, indie cliches that you see in every fucking movie yes. like that. But, Computer yeah, screen? No, no, no. No, that. no, none of that. Now that I'm thinking about it, okay. <laughs> no, but, uh, <laughs> but I mean, it's got the Colkin brothers. That one fucking well, I mean, one of them from uh, Home Alone. Which one's that one? Uh, That's Kier- uh, Kieran. Kieran and the other one, the younger one, who's Rory. like the main Rory. Yeah, so both fucking great in it. Emma Roberts was fucking good in it, and Alec Baldwin blew me fucking away. I'm, I'm, with, I don't mean to interrupt you, but Kieran Culkin's definitely underrated actor. He is. Man, I, I both I of them are, dude. Like they really yeah. are. Like they're fucking great in that movie. I don't Tell mean them. to they interrupt really you, but Alec Baldwin blew you. Blew me first, and then blew me away. <laughs> Secondly, no, like there's like this one scene. It's like a like an argument between him and like his yeah. wife. And it's fucking so good, dude. So intense. Yeah. I loved it. I like, but yeah, fucking, you know, s- slaps Karen right across the face. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's good. Simple, nothing like over the top. Like you said, nothing over the top. It's basic. It's got a cool ending, and yeah, uh, yeah three and a half out of five. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's very solid. Definitely. How much now, you pay for that? Five bucks or four three ninety nine. Or check it out. Now, yeah. me and you are the only people on earth that have seen that movie. I'm finally not alone. <laughs> exactly. I know. I swear to God, nobody anywhere has ever fucking watched that movie. It's like it doesn't exist. Which I is surprising. Heard of it. Big, big names in it, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, Scorsese produced it. Yeah. Yep. Which is crazy, too. So it's like, I don't know. Martin. If you like. Mr. Martin. <laughs> if you like indie, it'll uh, it'll satisfy you. It'll, it'll blow satisfy. you <laughs> away. It'll blow so, you. Literally. It's like the McDonald's of indie films. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the chicken strips of indie films. So, so what did you watch, Seth? <laughs> well, uh, when I was with you guys last week, we stopped at Disc Replay, found a Criterion there called The Vanishing. Uh, it's a Ooh. 1988, I think it's like a Fran- French, Dutch film. I don't know. There's a bunch of shit going on. But, man, intense as fuck. I've always heard it's, you know, supposedly like one of the most uh, unsettling endings ever. And, yeah, the whole thing was... Great experience. Guy and his girlfriend are on a road trip. They stop at a gas station. She goes in to get something to drink. Doesn't come back. So the guy starts to you know flip out. Three years later, he's become like obsessed with finding out what happened to her. And then you know you're following this guy that um, is responsible, and it's very creepy, very disturbing. And yes, the ending. Um, still thinking about it. Fucking great so, film. Uh, uh, Memento sounds a little better, but yeah, not bad. Uh, I doubt it. 
but if you're going to watch The Vanishing, watch the original 19, 1988 film because the same the director remade it for American audiences and supposedly that one's a piece of shit with Kiefer Sutherland and somebody else. But <laughs> which is strange. I've never. I don't know. That's to remake your own film. <laughs> like, yeah, a, for, for, that's for, happened before though. Yeah, it's, it's, it's though. weird. Yeah, but I I, I will never wa- bother watching that. But the original is fucking great. Check it out, man. I drank some of sure. this, Michael. You're one of us. I love unsettling. It is creepy. Creepy. Sounds interesting, though. You got that pretty cheap, though. Criterion? It is, yeah. Yeah, and, you know, those Criterion, sometimes you can pay 20 bucks and they're not the best movies. And you're like, fuck. What a fucking how, waste. How is the cleanup on that? Looked all right on blue, though, the quality? Yeah, no, it was, yeah, it was, it was real, real impressive. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the supplements, though, are lacking. Not a lot of not a lot of bonus features. Pretty yeah. disappointing for a Criterion release because usually they're stacked. Yeah, I mean, yeah usually. Stacked. That's crazy. But a uh, good good flick. It's on Hulu, so I would you know Ooh, I would recommend okay. watching it there. Yeah. Okay. So Nick, what are you gonna blow your wad on now? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna blow my wad. This is a Seth Talks film recommendation. Dang, number two. This uh, you've been telling me to watch this movie for about two years now, <laughs> so I decided to pick it up on Blu-ray and give it a watch. Before I say the title, <laughs> this film is about. A, a boy <laughs> down on his luck. Oh, God. Just, and you say, I go on. Wait, am I ruining it? <laughs> You've only been going to 10 seconds. You're, you're okay. Keep going. Okay. A boy down on his luck has a best friend. Parents are always holding him back. Got to take the trash <laughs> out. Mom, I want to play this game. I want to go on this ride. I'm not tall oh. enough. Fuck my life. Anyways, <laughs> he walks. The, girl, the girl's not into him. He's too small. Too, yeah. He doesn't have a car. He's a fucking, yeah, he's he's, a, he's practically a loser. Sorry. But yeah, sorry, Seth. But yeah, he walks up to a, a coin machine, a machine you put a coin in. You, you get to make a wish. In this I don't film. Think a coin machine. What? <laughs> yeah, what's a coin machine? You, like Coinstar? I get what you're saying, Nick. Well, you guys are That's fucking. That's just because my... you fucking love the movie. Yeah, Zoltar. Whew. God, why don't you go suck Kevin's piece of cock? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it'd be, it'd be a lot let me spit this, this fucking out. <laughs> but anyways, I'm intrigued. Keep going. I'm this sure you guys know ever. by now that this film is the 1988 classic. Oh, no. Am I right? My You're God. right. Big Tom Hanks, John, John. What's his name? Heard. John Heard in the riveting child performance from David Moscow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, David <laughs> Moscow. Ooh. That guy kills. What's he the redhead great, guy's funny. name? Jared Rushton. Okay, yeah, but anyway, dude, I finally watched this movie, Seth, and you know, the I have, I I think I like it maybe almost as much as I liked Hatchet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god, that's so fucking offensive to that's me. That's uh, like, that's a fucking recycled joke. Love yeah. using them. <laughs> that was one of your better ones. I did. I, I laughed out loud. I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. No, no. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I, I give this probably like a four out of five. Good, uh, good, good. It's maybe one that I you know would soak in more and more after I watch it. But Tom Hanks fucking absolutely kills it. It's an underrated performance because I mean you think oh, well, you know, not a big deal, but he's being like a fucking thirteen, twelve, thirteen year old kid. I mean yeah. it's it's really like convincing. I like thirteen going on thirty. <laughs> Fuck that shit. <laughs> it's a good lo- it's a good score though. Uh, but yeah, oh. you said Penny Marshall. I, I mean, you guys probably knew this, but I, I like that Steven Spielberg's sister had like wrote this film. I guess. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I heard some shit about that. Before. And then, like originally, you know, he was going to be set to direct, but uh, you know, I guess whatever, so and so happened. But it's crazy. Can you? I mean, can you imagine Steven Spielberg's big starring oh, Tom man. Hanks? That'd be fucking. I love Penny Marshall though. God Dude. bless her. Dude, and then, but the, uh, uh, one other problem that I have. Oh, with okay. This, let's start ripping it apart. No, well, no. Let's get to the discussion about it. Then. One more problem about this film: uh, a, a little too much sports product placement. For what my are you taste. talking about? They're in New York. Do you have to be wearing a Yankee shirt or hat, really? And then you know you got to skateboard to your New York Giants mug. I don't think so. Okay, well, you know, if that's your biggest complaint, then I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah, so why don't you shove the fucking George Steinbringer up your fucking I'm rectum. not even going to attempt to correct <laughs> Don't even that. do that. <laughs> even I know. <laughs> yeah. George Steinbringer. Tell me, though, tell me his fucking loft apartment is not so fucking awesome, man. That oh, that what, dude, shit. like, I, I have to say, a uh, pretty romantic kind of scene when, you know, when he gets around the trampoline and they jump around or whatever. 
That's yeah. great. It's pretty. It's pretty hot. I, I think mean, it'd be on top. It's got the yeah. riveting uh, baby corn eating. Scene. Yes, okay. yes. White tuxedo. Um, but it's great, dude. And he finds himself, you know, and he learns not to grow up too fast. Yep. Great fucking yeah. message. She pulls up on him at the end, and he's, you know, standing at this old time machine. Already <laughs> made his wish. Oh yeah. God. Chills just but, thinking about but, the final scene. You know, so, I get I'm chills thinking. from the creeps from that final scene when he Why, changes though? back and they what? they stare at each other for a good. He ten, fucked her. Yeah, <laughs> a good ten solid <laughs> seconds. A fucking like was he four thirteen? <laughs> okay, there's a little pedophilia going on in that film, See, but you gotta a just lot ignore of that. Feel kind of going on in that film because like it just but look, she didn't know any. Uh, she. Th- she, he looks like a fucking adult. He was working at McMillan Toys. You got to be 18 or older to work there. So, yeah. Uh, either way, big. <laughs> recommend it. Seth loves it. Uh, it's his favorite of all time, I guess, it is. for some it reason. Because <laughs> it's great. I, I associate it with childhood. I watched it many times growing up, and it just uh, does something to Let me. Let me just pick the most obscure movie for my number one ever. Thanks. Well, you know. No, it's good, pick, good pick, man. I'm just trying to get a joke out. You know what I mean? Let bud? me pick the most pothead movie for my number one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know if you guys heard, but I made some edits over the past weekend in my top 25 list of all time. <laughs> <laughs> you guys intrigued by uh, what I what I put down? <laughs> okay, who is this imitation of? I would like to know. I don't know. Do the math. <laughs> 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 Anyways, buddy... <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot! I swear. <laughs> Fuck Seth Urington. You're not oh, written God. anything I, for me. I know. Now you're gonna now you're gonna listen to this episode. You know, a few months from now, and you're gonna hear that part. And you're just, oh, fucking <laughs> hate Seth. <laughs> oh, bring it yeah. up. It'll happen. It can I'm happen. Glad, it can big. happen. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's a very special '80s film. Makes Classic. me feel good. Yeah, it's a great fucking. Movie. Fuck off, Walnut. <laughs> and that score from Howard Shore. Let me just tell you. Oh, so <laughs> good. Chills. Yeah. Is. Well, stuff. I think it's time for filmies to do Seth Gerrington as the scumbag of the week. <laughs> <There> we <go. laughs> Let me have it. Uh, oh, the weather outside is weather, and it's time for some holiday scumbags. We can easily do a month of horror scumbags, but when it comes to holiday films, it's pretty deserving of two. Why don't we start with some quotes from our sweetheart of the week? <laughs> you be positive, I'll be realistic. Such a positive outlook on life, don't you think? How about, look what you did, you little jerk. <laughs> what a kidder. And the, grand- <laughs> and the granddaddy of quotes. The one that really exemplifies what a tremendous waste of human space that Uncle Frank is not. <laughs> this is real crystal. Put them in your purse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Frank, always trying to be resourceful. When it, come down, when it comes down to it, Frank is shit. And I really, doubt his fa- I really doubt his family even likes him. He's not always bad, though. When Kate is suffering with the fact that she left behind Kevin, Frank lends some positive words of encouragement. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, I forgot my reading glasses. <laughs> How's it going? Awful. Just awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, Never try to ruin the fun of a cheapskate who mooches off his brother. I wonder if he's smooching with his brother, too. Oh, man. He's been smooching with everybody. I'm sure Chuffy, there's a very... Yeah, Leo, Little Mo with the gimpy leg. <laughs> Cheeks, Pony Bob, Cliff. I could go I on could forever, baby. Forever, baby. Uh, I'm sure there's a very small Grinch-sized heart in there somewhere. Although he even goes as far as pushing his Culkin son into the wall. <laughs> Just push the chair away from your face, Fuller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't stand there for ten minutes. Wait for somebody. <laughs> Man. That's fucking great, bro. Good, bro. I love Uncle Frank. He really is a, a huge jerk in, <laughs> in both of those films. Man. It's funny because I watched Home Alone, the first one, last night. So it just like, now, let me ask so you guys. Uh, this is going to sound like I'm making this up. Have you ever seen some of the deleted scenes of that film? There's a scene where he pulls Kevin's pants down. <laughs> <laughs> what? In the first or second one? <laughs> oh my god! Okay, it's right after he's like, you know, right at the beginning of the movie, he's like, pack my suitcase, and then there's like a scene. I I swear to God, unless I just was imagining, this. dreamt it or hoped it. <laughs> I swear to God, this is real. I see this. You, you're gonna have to look this up. But my there's a scene where 
Uncle Frank comes up to Kevin and he like makes a joke about it. Or he says something and then he rips his pants down. Oh my god, <laughs> that would never fly. This no, I, 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 maybe I'm just fucking crazy, but I swear to God, it's real. I have to find this. Well, I'm pretty sure Michael Jackson's done worse, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, oh, there we go. Home Alone deleted scene. Frank's yank. <laughs> <laughs> you looked it up? Oh. Yeah, right now. Oh, oh my it. God. I'm watching it right now. Yeah, it's very disturbing. I, I swear, I knew I saw this. No wonder they cut to that. That's some fucking pedophile shit, bro. Frank's yank. <laughs> <laughs> he pulls his pants down and he runs away. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What the I'm fuck? That just sounds right weird. Yeah. Oh. It's, very, uh, it's real. What a prick, though. I also love it in Home Alone 2 after the uh, you know whole scenario at the choir when Kevin fucks everything up. He's sitting there laughing in the audience. Yeah. Yeah. Christmas time is lost. Christmas tree, my fucking Christmas tree. <laughs> I need to get that on fucking Blu-ray now. So, yeah. Hell yeah! Thank oh, you for that. Found it. <laughs> Frank's Yank. Yep. It's not that bad. I just watched it right now. No, but it's fucking funny though. Yeah. <laughs> like, he does like walk away all like giggling and shit. Yeah. I got you, Kev. <laughs> Is that what he says? <laughs> I didn't have the audio on. Did he say that? No, I don't think he says that. I can see your dick, Kev. <laughs> Uh, oh shit! Yeah. And the face Macaulay makes his classic open mouth face. Yeah, a classic yeah. Macaulay. Open it for something else. Classic <laughs> penetration face. You can call him Mac. It's Mac. <laughs> I was Mac boy. All right, filmy snake. Thank you for that wonderful scumbag of the week to kick <sighs> off the uh, <sighs> kick off the holiday months. I'm sure there will be plenty more to come. Always appreciate it. Oh, I think on that note, call it an episode. Make sure you guys are following us on all the social media platforms. Twitter.com slash Cinema Scumbags. Instagram, Cinema Scumbags. Facebook, Cinema Scumbags Movie Podcast. We even got a spreadsheet because we need your fucking money. Do you want some merch? Yeah, that's right. Find, yeah I don't and, even know what the link is. You got to find it on Twitter. And uh, fucking the right movies on YouTube. Yep. Check them out. As, Gage, yes. fucking yep. shout out of the week. Fucking awesome, buddy. Yep, plenty more of those to come. Uh, definitely check out any of those guys that we ever mentioned in that segment. Gage, go give him uh, give him some support because that's what it's all about. Fuck yeah! Oh, all right, guys. Filming's Nick, Nick D, Matt, the scumbag. Thank you guys as Seth. always for another riveting episode. Thanks, Seth. Thank you. Seth. Right on, right on. It's always fun. Check us out. See you guys next week. Thank you for listening. And as always, go fuck yourselves.